Hey, what's up YouTube, King James here. Today I'm bringing you a slightly different video. This video is about 120 hertz or 120 frames per second. It's a huge advantage in any first person shooter. If you're playing Call of Duty or Fortnite or any other game on your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X, and it's capable of 120 frames per second, this is something you definitely wanna turn on. It's been a huge advantage for me. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about HDMI 2.0, HDMI 2.1, how you can turn on 120 frames per second, either at 1080p or 1440p or 4K, if you have a TV that's capable of it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to know is 120 frames per second is available on HDMI 2.0, but only at 1080p or 1440p resolution. HDMI 2.0 is the current HDMI standard right up until 2020. So if you have a TV or a monitor anytime in the last five years, it'll probably do 1080p or 1440p at 120 hertz. That's fairly easy to turn on and you can do that in your Xbox. But if you have an HDMI 2.1 TV or monitor, like the Sony Bravia X900H, which is what I'm running. It's a Sony TV that they brought out specifically for next generation consoles, the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. It works amazing and you can get 4K at 120 frames per second, which is amazing. And you need HDMI 2.1 in order to do it because it's the new standard that enables that. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that on on your Sony Bravia TV and on the, on the Xbox. It's the same for the PlayStation 5 so that you can make that work. And it's a huge advantage and you're gonna love it. Just before I jump into it though, I want to say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel. I really appreciate that love and support. And if this video is helpful for you, do me a favor and hit the sub button, hit the thumbs up button, because that really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you how to turn that on and check it on your Xbox and on your Sony Bravia X900H TV. So one of the very first things you're going to want to do is go into settings, scroll down to device preferences, go to about and system software update. Now I've already done it and Sony released an update for 120 um, frames and variable refresh re uh, rate, but you're gonna wanna go in and make sure you do this update. And whether you're on a Sony X900H or any of the other HDMI 2.1 TVs, make sure you do a system software update because on these new TVs, they're releasing a lot of software updates. So make sure you're on the latest one first and foremost. And then let's go in and make sure that we can get the 120 Hertz turned on either in 4K or, um, a 1080p or 1440p. So on your Xbox or PlayStation 5, go over to your video settings. So on the Xbox, it's settings, general TV and display options. And you'll generally see this 1080p, 60 hertz. That's sort of the normal settings that everything works on. If you have a 4K TV or monitor capable of that resolution, you can go ahead and turn that on now. But what you're gonna notice is that it's stuck at 60 hertz. And if I turn on 120 hertz or 120 frames, it's gonna confirm it, but it's not gonna keep the 4K resolution. And that's because my TV is essentially running an HDMI 2.0 standard. So if you have an, a TV that, or a monitor that's only HDMI 2.0, run 120 hertz and go up as high as the resolution as you can to keep 120 hertz. However, I have a Sony X900H, which is an HDMI 2.1 TV. So I'm gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna hit watch TV and I'm gonna go down to external input. I'm gonna scroll down to HDMI signal format and you need to have your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X in HDMI 3 or 4. I'm using 3. And you want to switch to enhanced format without Dolby Vision. This is what supports 4K at 120. And this is what's stopping your TV from having 4K at 120. So go ahead and select that and back out. Now go back into your video settings on your Xbox or PlayStation 5. And now you can enable 4K at 120, which I'll go ahead and do right here. Actually, I'll show you the 4K TV details first because what you're looking for is when you're looking at your details, you want to make sure that your TV supports 4K at 120, which you can see now is checked. So now I'll go up to 4K and it'll maintain the 4K at 120, which you'll see now. And for most games, this is all you need to turn it on. There's a couple of games like Fortnite where you have to specifically go into settings and turn on 120 frames. But once you do this step, then you'll get it. One of the other things I recommend you do is calibrate HDMI, HDR for games. This will help you calibrate your screen so that HDR looks absolutely amazing while you're playing games. Highly recommend that you do that as well. 
All right, guys, that's everything you need to know in order to get 120 frames on. If you've got an older TV in the last, you know, three or four years, you should be able to run 1080p or 1440p at 120 hertz. If you have a brand new TV that's capable of HDMI 2.1, like the Sony X900H I'm using, um, Samsung makes the Q80T, I think, and there's an LG model that's also HDMI 2.1, you're going to want to turn this on in 4K at 120 hertz. That's what I'm running. It's amazing, and I absolutely love it. If this video helped you, hit the sub button and the thumbs up button, because it really does help me as a small content creator. All right, guys, that's it for me. King James out.